Sitting at the foot of the Gila Mountains here in southeastern Arizona is a little town called Fort Thomas. It's down there. It's not very big at all. It's a long way from Phoenix and even further from Indianapolis and big time auto racing. But these days, the little town of Fort Thomas is where Gordon Johncock calls home. If you spot him on the streets of this small town, you might have a hard time recognizing the two time Indy champion. These days, he's running a cattle ranch and leveling land for a living, and he looks the part. It's a far cry from 200 miles an hour behind the wheel of a rolling billboard. I have mixed emotions about it. Uh, sometimes it's all right, and sometimes it's not. Uh, certainly, I, you know, I do miss it. I do miss the competition, and a lot of times when I watch it on TV, I th think to myself, uh, I'd like to be there running with him. He still runs, but the speeds are a bit slower. This beast actually moves the earth leveling the ground so farmers can grow crops. It keeps them busy and it keeps them away from the racetracks, something John Cox says helps keep him in retirement. I think it's harder to, uh, when you go back, like I went to uh, Elkhart Lake and done the Start Radio Network there, helped them on that, and went to Pocono and done ESPN there. And when you're there actually watching them, I think it's much harder than it is uh, up here where I really am busy and I'm not thinking about it. But is he through with racing for good? I'm not ruling it out. I'm not going to stand here and tell you that I'll never race again. It all depends upon how the cattle and the land leveling business goes. In southeastern Arizona, I'm Rick DeBrule reporting for Speed Week.